Have you seen water from rain and snowfall lying in puddles, washing into places that are meant to be dry or causing damage? Nature has a way of bringing us a lesson in moving stormwater to where we can better manage it. Water draining from precipitation across the land surface is called stormwater runoff. Cities and suburbs generate stormwater runoff, sometimes lots of it. Flowing water carries hydraulic force and turbulence that constantly cuts, erodes, carries away, floods, or shatters things that confine it. The faster and deeper water flows, the more aggressively it works. When stormwater flows overload a land surface's ability to soak it in, we need to move the excess water in ways that cause the least harm. This parking garage drains into the tree garden in the foreground. Intentionally moving stormwater from where it falls to another place requires using a man-made channel or pipe that we call a conveyance. The rain gutters on this building are conveyances. We often use a series of gutters to move drainage from an inlet to a junction with another flow or storage until the flow reaches a final outlet. This neighborhood street drains into this conveyance system. Natural streams and drainages are dominant land surface features that efficiently transport surface water runoff. However, natural drainages often change course, disrupting activities and causing property damage. This natural stream historically overflows the neighborhood behind it. Stormwater experts may need to place control measures such as the stones in this stream segment to slow stream velocity and disperse its fluid energy. Stormwater conveyances may mimic streams as open channels or they may be closed pipes for high-volume applications. A variety of materials may be used, including soil with vegetated cover armor as shown here, or stone like on this residential property. Conveyances can be concrete such as these precast pipes or formed in place like this century-old man-made ditch draining a cemetery. They may be constructed of plastic or steel. In either case, individual parts are joined end-to-end to assemble a flow system. All components must be sized and designed to withstand the loading that storm events will place upon them. Conveyance systems must have corresponding inlets, like this grate, and stable outlets, like the culvert opening in this headwall. Other features, such as filters, storage vessels, pumps, and controls, must be integrated in the system to serve other purposes. Conveyances by themselves only carry stormwater without affecting water qualities or workability. This basin system integrates a combination of structural and non-structural features for best practice and service life. To keep conveyance systems working properly, we must design, install, inspect, clean, maintain, repair, and replace them as needed. Be sure to consult your qualified expert or extension agent if you have questions about drainage on your property. You can find a full array of videos and articles in the Penn State Extension Stormwater Basics series if you're interested in learning more about stormwater.